It's happening. The signs of the last days prophecies are happening, just as Bible prophecy foretold. And it's revealing. We are nearing the end of this age of grace and the appearance of our Lord Jesus Christ for his church. And this signs of the last days ministry is here, watching with you and praying with you. As we get ready now for that appearance of the Lord Jesus Christ for his church, as this ministry declares the signs on the road path to the appearance of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you so much for being a part of this Signs of the Last Days ministry community, praying and giving to support this ministry. There's news where for the first time since World War II, a foreign army has successfully invaded the country of Russia, where Ukraine in a shock counteroffensive has surprised Russia invading the Russian region of Kursk, capturing between 1,000 to 2,000 square kilometers of Russian soil. As the aggression of Magog Russia has now boomeranged on them to where they are not the aggressor attacking and plundering, but they themselves have been surprised as they have been attacked and pillaged themselves for their aggression. And Bible prophecy foretells that this is also how the end will come in the near prophetic future for the armies of Gog and Magog Russia, where through their continuing aggression that they will finally cross a red line of the divine. As they will then be shocked when then they go from being the aggressor to becoming the victim from being the attacker to the one being attacked and from being the plunderer to the one plundered, as they will be surprised in an ambush from the Holy One on high when they allow their aggression to even lead them to mistakenly think that they can cross the red lines of the Lord God. But that is where he will turn their sword of aggression against them as their armies will be destroyed. Ukraine's invasion of Russia began with a large-scale drone attack, surprising and disrupting Russian bases, troops, and communications near the border between Ukraine and Russia. And that was followed with thousands of <clears throat> Ukrainian troops, tanks, and armored vehicles in a sudden shock counteroffensive, crossing Russia's border, going into Russia's southwestern Kursk region. And what is the most significant attack that a foreign army has launched on Russian soil for the first time since World War II? As Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, famous for telling the United States when they offered him a ride out of Ukraine. When Russia first made their unprovoked, all-out attack into Ukraine, he said then that I don't need a ride, I need ammunition. And he has now said concerning this evasion of, U of Russia by Ukraine, that Russia, he said, needed to, quote, feel, unquote, the consequences of its invasion of Ukraine. And indeed they are, as Putin and the Kremlin have been embarrassed by this shock invasion, as Russian military forces were quickly overwhelmed and filmed surrendering in large numbers to the Ukrainian forces. And Russian populations were evacuated from towns ahead of the advancing Ukrainian troops, where Putin, the Kremlin, and their generals have been struggling in their confusion to mount any credible response to the surprise attack that obviously caught them completely off guard. As Putin, who has positioned himself to be the strongman ruler of a military superpower, when invaded for the first time since World War II, he had to take days to even to react, and now two weeks into the invasion, Putin, the Kremlin, and their generals are still being roundly embarrassed by this as Ukraine is still there inside of Russia with their invasion, taking territory, taking captives, and now they are digging in and blowing up Russian bridges. As Ukraine 
and Zelensky are doing all of this in hopes of improving their bargaining position for any future negotiations with Russia. And Putin has already had to go begging again for help. He has already went with hat in hand to Iran, where he asked them to supply Russia with Iranian drones and missiles, and with Iranian troops to train them how to use them in the battlefield. He also had to go to North Korea, where he had to ask Dear Kim for ammunition so Russia would not run out of artillery shells. And now with Putin out of troops to stand up and stop this Ukrainian incursion into the Russian fatherland, Putin has just made a rare, unscheduled surprise trip to Shechnya, the Muslim republic within the Russian Federation that Putin spent years bludgeoning them into submission and then installed his own strongman ruler there by the name of Ramzan Kotarov, who has ruled brutally with an iron fist under the approving eye of Putin. And now this week, Putin toured a special forces military academy in Chechnya with Kotarov, as he told the Chechnya military that Russia is invincible when it has troops like them from Chechnya. And Katerov told Putin during their meeting that Chechnya would now provide tens of thousands of more soldiers to Russia ready to fight Ukrainian forces, as Putin is putting together more badly needed troops. Putin has had to do all of this because of Ukraine's admirable resilience, grinding away in their fight against this current prince of Russia over the Russians where along with this unexpected counteroffensive, they have exposed weaknesses in the Kremlin regime of Putin. Putin and the Kremlin have no lack <clears throat> of grand goals of aggression, but they are learning that they need more than just their nuclear threats and bluffs of red lines. Those may keep the armies of the nations of the West on the sidelines but they are also learning that they need a more plentiful supply of troops and of weapons to achieve their grand goals of plundering. And so they are now building up in this current war on Ukraine, the Gog of Magog prophetic alliance with Russia bringing in to help some of the exact participants foretold in the Ezekiel 38 prophecy, everything that is happening now in this war of aggression of Russia attacking Ukraine is a prelude to and a preparation for the Ezekiel 38 and 39 Bible prophecy fulfillments. Magog Russia is learning and is getting prepared for her prophetic role. The Gog of Magog Alliance is being prepared and formed with it coming together, unfortunately, for Ukraine. After several years of grinding away, pushing back in their admirable defense of themselves, and now after making this audacious counterattack to make Russia feel their aggression, still what they have achieved is that they have now just poked the bear. To keep all of this in perspective, the aggressive, huge Russian bear has already invaded and taken over 25% or one quarter of the country of Ukraine, which some say that is between 60 to 70,000 square miles of Ukrainian territory that the Russian bear has already taken. Where about, they say, 10 million Ukrainians now live under Russian occupation. And now, on a monthly or even weekly basis, Russian missiles are still hitting Ukrainian towns and infrastructure. Tens of thousands of Ukrainians have died in these years of Russian aggression toward Ukraine. And now, with this huge gamble by Ukraine, making this first invasion of the country of Russia since World War II, and they are doing it with weapons provided by the West. And this can cause a turning point. 
It is a fact that Ukraine could have never mounted the defense of itself that it has without the Western nations supplying Ukraine with weapons. But the Western nations who supplied those weapons to Ukraine did so with the understanding that those weapons would be used only for the defense of Ukrainian territory. But now, Ukraine has used those weapons of the West for offensive operations, using them to invade the country of Russia. Ukraine has provocatively crossed a red line of the West in doing that to where nations of the West could now begin to stop the flow of their weapons to Ukraine so that they are not pulled directly into the war with Russia. And if that flow of Western weapons begins to dry up to any extent, Ukraine could not continue as they have to fend off the Russian bear. Also, Ukraine crossing the national border of Russia and invading Russian territory is blatantly crossing the thick red line laid down by Putin, who has consistently said that he is willing to resort to nuclear weapons should Russia's territorial integrity be jeopardized in any way. This invasion of Russia by Ukraine is obviously stabbing a thumb into the eyes of Putin over that. And the risk is now exponentially higher of this conflict severely escalating with a turning point. The net of all of this is we could soon see events transpire that will result in accelerating this conflict toward its prophetic end result, which according to the word of the Lord God, the end result is that Magog Russia of the Prince of Rush will through their aggression bring Ukraine back under their domain of dominion. There can be twists and turns in the path to that happening, including more surprise aggression and then negotiations. But one way or the other, that is what will happen as the end result. For the Ezekiel 38 prophecy, using the original biblical tribal names, says that Gomer, G-O-M-E-R, says that Gomer and all its troops will be in reliance and alliance together with Gog and Magog. To where all the troops of the territory of Gomer will be included in the Gog of Magog armies alliance in the latter days whose aggression will bring them to the border of Israel. And Ezekiel reveals that the role of the ancient prince of Rush over the Russians, which Putin has already acknowledged that, is the Gog of Magog, who in the latter days will regather the territories of the original descendants of the tribes of the brothers of the family of Japheth, and the descendants of Gomer, who was the brother of Magog, were originally located in the territory north of the Black Sea, which is today called Ukraine. And that territory of Gomer, which is today called Ukraine, was just west of the territory of the descendants of Magog along the Volga River, which is the great river of Russia that flows through the heart of Russia and only flows through Russia. And according to the Ezekiel prophecy, in the latter days, the inhabitants of that territory of the descendants of Gomer will be with Gog of Magog, the prince of Rush, over the Russians. But the one lesson that Russia will not be able to learn now in their war of aggression on Ukraine, they will not learn the lesson that their aggression can boomerang on them to where they go from being the aggressor doing the attacking to being the one attacked. And they go from being the plunderer to being the one plundered. For the Bible prophecy of Ezekiel foretells that they will be surprised and shocked in an ambush from the Holy One on high when their aggression leads them to cross the red line of the Divine One by crossing the border of the Holy Land of God into the mountains of Israel. 
And then the prophecy describes that the Lord God will turn their own sword against them as their own aggression will destroy their own armies on the mountains of Israel. And what is happening now in this war of aggression of Russia on Ukraine is preparing for the Ezekiel 38 and 39 Bible prophecy fulfillments of the last days to soon come. As these events and conditions happening now in the world are warning signs pointing to the nearing fulfillment of the last days prophecies at the end of this age, revealing that it's time to prepare now for the nearing appearance of Jesus Christ for his church by being born again into the kingdom of God by the water and the spirit as Lord Jesus commanded that we must in John chapter 3 and verse 3 and John chapter 3 and verse 5. As Jesus said, we must be born again of the water and the spirit and as his apostles authorized and sanctioned by the Lord Jesus in Matthew chapter 16, verses 18 through 19, described how in the Acts of their preaching, in the Acts of the Apostles, chapters 2, 8, 10, and 19. And if you would like help finding someone in your area where you're located to biblically pray for you and baptize you, according to the Acts of the preaching of Jesus and his chosen apostles, actually in their Holy Bible Scriptures. You can contact us here at Signs of the Last Days Ministry to help you find someone. Our contact information is down at the very bottom of our website. Our website is signsofthelastdays.org. And down at the very bottom of the page, in the footer, in the smaller print, you will find our email address. Please, just email us with the name of your town, your state, and your zip code with your request, and we will be glad to respond and to help, just as we have helped so many people all across the United States and other countries. The prophecy has come true. The perilous times, they're here. And the need is greater than ever before to declare the signs of the last day's prophecies that Jesus is soon to come for his church. And we need your help, your prayers, and your giving support. If each of our viewers would give a donation as the Lord leads you, whatever the amount, we believe that will help to ensure that the signs of biblical prophecy continue to be shared here on this prophetic ministry channel with the world. And you can securely give on our website, signsofthelastdays.org, on the giving page, whatever amount that the Lord leads you to help Signs of the Last Days ministry to continue sharing the signs of biblical prophecy that Jesus is soon to appear. And we thank you so much for your support. Please be watching for our next videos and also for our next Watch and Pray live stream broadcast as our Watch and Pray live stream on Sunday evenings where we have a prophetic word from the Lord then to share with our last day's church of more signs of the last day's prophecies happening now. Please make sure you're subscribed to and following this channel and that you click the bell to get all notifications for our live streams and videos as we will be sharing more prophetic signs of the end time prophecies that are happening now in the world showing that the time of this age is short. Draw 